So in my previous case, what happened is actually I shown you how to create two virtual machines and then um, ping from each other. So imagine that we have, you have it is actually a two node cluster. I'm showing you the procedure to create the two node cluster and later we are going to install Hadoop. And when we install Hadoop, it will become Hadoop cluster. Okay. Right now it is not Hadoop cluster. We are ready to. I, I didn't. I didn't show. I didn't show you how to. That I didn't take up for the discussion. So right now I'm only showing you how to uh, this type of cluster in uh, in uh, classical computing is known as Beowulf cluster. So actually people are confused about Beowulf cluster. Many they don't know the name for uh, even in in our classes nobody teach you this. I was not taught all these things when I was a student and I'm sure nobody in computer science they teach BO cluster. It is name taken granted for LAN. So uh, today we are talking it as LAN, local area network, that's all. We don't call it as a BO, but actually theoretically, we need to call it as a BO cluster. So what is a BO cluster? It's a computer cluster, which means a network. Cluster means a network, that's all. Group of computers that are connected together. So sharing the resources and uh, so Beowulf cluster is a computer cluster of what are normally identical. All the nodes must be identical and please be used. You cannot have Windows machine and Linux machine and some Mac. You cannot, that is not a Beowulf cluster. So uh, there will be performance issues. Uh, it is not, uh, suppose Google can't have, uh, you know, a thousand computers, the Windows thousand computers. There's no point in having Windows uh, computers by the way, because it is a proprietary. Windows is meant for, uh, you know, uh, beginners, I mean, it's a, for a desktop computing, uh, PC, personal computing, it's not for, you know, business level, no business uses Windows. <laughs> you can ask me questions, sir, why we are using Windows in uh, Githam? I mean, Githam is not a business. Suppose if you go to IBM, IBM people, they don't use Windows. And there uh, no engineer in IBM, no engineer in, but in India they use, you know, in TCS, Satyam and all, we use a lot of, uh, we are very good uh, users of Windows. That's a different point. But you know, in, in the, all the computers need to be identical in the old cluster. If one machine has uh, Linux and all rest of the machines must have the same version of Linux. You cannot, there may be minor differences like, you know, but resources must be the same. If I have one utility in one Linux machine, you know, with minor changes, I can have a same utility with uh, minor changes, but not uh, totally different uh, utility in other, uh, another computer. So if, when I'm using Windows in one system and uh, Linux in another system, what happens is that, see, we use uh, IP config in Windows and we use IF config. Hmm? Mm. So it is not possible for anybody to write the program. So when we write the program, we assume that we are all in the same type of uh, network. So we cannot have, it increases the burden. Why do we need to take this? It is free. Linux is free, nobody is going to ask money and nobody is going to come for, you know, inspection. So it's not meant for, you know, gigantic uh, networks. It can be when uh, only for local area, network, LAN, not more than LAN, with a minimum number of countries, that is the old cluster. So I'm explaining, uh, you know, the network concept using two node clusters. So I call it as the old cluster. So if there are thousands of computers, let's say the computer cluster, what are normally identical, they should be number one, identical, number two, commodity grade, and small local area with libraries and programs installed, uh, which allow processing, processing to be shared among them. So it is not one computer must be able to process the data in another computer. So processes are all available across the network. So computer A can process data lying in computer B. Computer B can process the data lying in computer A. So, so what essentially it means uh, that uh, there must be some sort of uh, connection, communication, and shared resources. So when we talk about resources in computing, there are only two essential resources. Number one, memory. Number two, processing. And there are assets. You know, they're not resources, assets. Suppose if I create a file and I have some material inside the file, it's an asset, it's not a resource. So memory is a resource and the processing is a resource. So these, these computers inside this cluster must be able to you know, share data and use the resources and also must have some you know, access to those uh, computers. Hello? Ah, important. Huh? 
till 3 gig. So parallel, uh, the result is high performance parallel computing cluster from inexpensive personal computer hardware. So actually, uh, beyond clusters are used for this purpose. Uh, you know, you find them in research labs where there's a lot of research happens on distributed uh, computing and parallel processing. Actually, Hadoop is uh, both, you know, it does both. It is a distributed platform. It offers a distributed platform, which means there are some algorithms related to distributed uh, um, distribution of the of the resources and there is parallel processing it goes into the level of processor and also manipulates the memory it's a beautiful it's beyond words actually i cannot explain the the majesty and the beauty of hedu is a mastermind right? i mean there's a lot of things you know which you, we, we are we are still premature so we are not enough mature to talk about that. The result is a high performance parallel computing cluster from inexpensive personal computers. So all these personal computers, like my computer, your computer, and all of them can be. This is what is going to be. Of. So now what I am explaining you is nothing but a beautiful cluster. So one side. So as far as your studies are concerned, there are only two for you. There are only two. There are only two clusters. One is beyond cluster, and the other one is Hadoop cluster. And that's it. So you just have to, so there, there may be many clusters, but it doesn't matter. Either we are not care. We don't care all of them. For us, there are only two clusters. One is the BOL. So I'm explaining you the BOL cluster. I'm explaining you the BOL. So you have a lot of MPI, CH, even you could have classical concepts in it. Message passing, message passing, MPI, PVM, parallel virtual machines, MP, even you could have, they're all, you know, mind blowing concepts in the, um, in the history of uh, parallel processing and uh, distributed uh, computing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of theory inside it. And uh, if anybody of you from the computer background, I think you understand what I'm talking. Okay, so we are trying to um, study the distributed computing and parallel processing with the help of an operating system called Hadoop. So we are just going to, so that is actually the beauty of so I said this is not a course, this is a career. So you can, uh, if you are proficient in this subject, you can literally demand a job in the, you, you'll be hard kicked, just like, you know, machine, machine learning engineer. So today, if you, if you want to become a, a software engineer, only thing is through big data, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, both of them, they'll actually, and then you got blockchain and uh, FinTech. I mean, uh, online payments or something like that. What we did is actually, I've shown you how to you know, establish a communication channel between computer A and computer B. I call computer A as a master and computer B as slave. There is no master and slave actually. It's only in our mind we have the master and slave, but they have two equal computers, okay? It's not a slave to master. Master is not a master of the slave. They don't know that they are slaves and masters. I, it is only for the purpose of recognizing a computer. I can call it as A and B, that could be much more better. But you know, from the right from the beginning, I have, we have this culture. We call one as a server, the other one is a client. That's even better. So I could have called a server and client, but in Hadoop, we still have that uh, you know perception. We call a server as a master and there will be a number of slaves. They're all clients. They just, uh, you know, now host name, host, uh, host name. You got slave here, and then uh, master. You got uh, sorry, sorry, host name, and you got master here. That's it. And then uh, if config for master, we got uh, 192.168.56.101, and here for slave, we got if config. And why I'm talking again and again? That is for you. So I suspect how many of you are really following my classes. Uh, it's not neither my fault nor your fault, but as I said, you know, this big data cannot be, nobody can teach in one 30 classes or 40 classes. We need a full semester. I mean, throughout the program, we should say in master, we got uh, 101 and in slave, we got uh, 102. <coughs> now what happens if I, so I can think from here, mm, 192, <laughs> I don't need to 168.56.102 and it thinks I'm just going to, so both of the computers are able to recognize. 
each other in the network. They are in the network, and I connected these two computers by using host only um, uh, adapter. I mean configuration, host only network. So it's a virtual machine based. Uh, it's a VM network, a network which is uh, which is created for the purpose of virtual machines in Windows, in base, uh, you know, computer using virtual box. So 192.168.56.101, that is to master, it thinks. Now what happened, that is step number one. So we pinged up each computer from the other computer, and then we, we came to know that there is, a, both of the computers are in tune with each other. So they are, just because of that, I cannot, uh, you know, enter into the other's computer. So here, uh, but who is the user? Here the user is the Hadoop. I could have been, it should be MK or something like that. And then uh, name of the computer is master. And here user is Hadoop. And it is, there is a purpose. I purposefully set up the computers with that user name so that I want to minimize the risk. And then uh, name of the computer is slave. This name, slave and that name. And there is another place which I have told you to do, uh, G edit or Maybe I can nano. Uh, the edit is even better for that matter. Uh, etc. And then network. I don't know. Networks, I guess. Networks. No, it's the hosts and content. Hosts. Say, say, say. I think this is a uh, barrier to me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, I want to drag this, but I did that. I think host, uh, host, uh, host config, host, sir. host. Take a look there. I'm in Slayer. So here I set up everything. So in each computer, so by if only after doing this, I need to tell both of the computers recognize this IP address with Slayer. And this IP address is name of this IP address is Slayer, and name of this IP address is master. So I have to do this in both computers just trying to set up your okay now exit you put in just step number two so in step number two what happens we need to check the secure shell facility so here what happens is that there are two hosts here if you observe very carefully i go to the master and i do the same thing sudo nano and then uh, etc or etc host so hello you see here, there is one address for local host. This is a host. So local host, what do you mean a host? It's the base computer. Host means a computer. So the address of the, this is for the internal purposes. Suppose if I write a, you know, web application, and if I want to test that application, if I convert this, my computer as a, I don't know, kind of, you know, a server. If any computer in a server can convert to say, then test it and you can address it. Then publish it and you can address it. So 127.0.0.1, which is called local host, it is for the testing purposes. Otherwise, no? Who do? Guys, if anybody is not here, you have to do app install Python, create that flask. And just kind of fit put them good. Tape version. Oh, this is not there. We do that install. I'm going to show you how to convert. Uh, do you want to see how to convert a computer into a server? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. I'm going to show you how to convert uh, my local computer into a server. Okay, only only for Indian. I cannot I cannot open to the public because uh, I need a static IP address which I need to buy. I cannot do, but for internal purposes, I can just convert. Uh, <coughs> the, I think, yeah, sudo apt install pip, I think three, I guess, I don't know. Um, apt install uh, Python, Python three. I'm using Python. I can use any language. Okay, you can't ask me, sir. You're teaching us Hadoop and how dare you use Python. I have all the day to use any language as I wish because I don't have restrictions. Hadoop is an operating system, it's not a programming language. If I am teaching Java, even in Java, I talk uh, Python. That is actually the, Python is always special. 
I compare Java often of times. I compare Java with Python and I help students understand the concepts. I'm installing pip here. I'm going to install a package called Flask, a micro framework. And I'm going to show you how to convert a computer, a local computer into server. Um, come on. So here, I don't want to do this here because one system, because I'm not going to uh, teach you how to develop web applications and uh, server client and all. That is not my, that's not for the discussion. I can do that, but not for the So now I can use, uh, where, are I, where am I? So here I installed, uh, Flask is a micro framework for web development. I mean, it, it uses Python. Just like in Java, we got JSP servers and uh, Spring Boot and uh, uh, there are many, like, you know, <laughs> like that in Python, there are so many frameworks like Flask, Zango, as in the Zango guys, the Zango. Whenever I call Zango, students talk me back saying, so it is the, the Zango, it's not the Zango. And the computer science level, it's a Zango, it's a Zango, not the Zango. Uh, pip version. Pip version. Yes, we got the pip now. Pip install plus. Trendy, virtual <laughs> Windows low, virtual machine install. See, Andalo and Python Flask install is now that's so great. And if now what happens, I'm in uh, CD, I go to documents. And here I develop a, I am just going to write a small script to find, see, please, if you're not understanding, don't be panic. Okay, Diti, are you afraid of what I'm talking? No, I think, right? You're not scared of my lecture, right? Yes, No, very good. So Krishna, are you scared of? Are you scared of my lecture? No, sir. Very good. Brave boys and brave girls. I need those people. So LS, I don't have anything to do. Uh, touch, and then I'm going to write main.py. The chinna file is Main.py. It's a Python file. It's a main file, something like that. LS, sudo g edit, and then main.py. I can also use nano. But I want to use uh, here from maybe I don't know, kind of from Flask. I think from Flask import Flask, and then also I wrote long back. I wrote this. Uh, okay, app is equal to Flask, and then main. This is a main file. The main module. And now app, I'm going to create a route, okay? And that route app dot route is going to be, when I maybe like, you know, I can just leave it as the power slash, which means after IP address, if I use that power slash, it's, it's a home kind of thing. So in my website, I'm going to create a home. Now I'm going to add some logic to this route. Don't be scared of what I'm talking, please. Okay, don't be scared. I call it as index or I can call it as anything and everything. This is a Python function. Python And here I need to remember, is it written, I think, written? Okay, I'll go back to online. Long back I used, uh, right now I'm interested in Django. Flask uh, basic uh, code. I think pellets, I guess. Pellets, yeah, Pellets project, quick start. So I just copy, let's go, yeah, this one. From Flask, import Flask, app Flask, name, not main. It's name. Name. <coughs> <coughs> and then uh, def hello world, and then return, oh, okay, okay. So we can just uh, give back. This is a <coughs> a p tag. Okay, it's not coming here. Uh, it's a HTML code. I can just write, uh, hi, hi, this is welcome page. And this should be, this HTML tag, it's called P tag, paragraph tag. And this should be enclosed in, I'm just going to return a small line, a text line. I can also do a lot of things here. And that's sufficient. So now, if I go down, 
I'm going to convert this uh, script into a model. If name that above name that name is equal to main. If it is a main module, then what happens? App app run. Okay, fine. That's it. So how small it is actually. Now I just imported uh, this. Uh, you know, I installed this uh, package called Flask, and I just created one single route. And now let's close this. Uh, now I think I have here Python. I think Python will not work. I guess yeah, Python three. Then may not pi. Yes. You see, it is telling me that uh, this computer now is a server. And this is the address where, from where it is served. Now anybody can, uh, so now I want to open my cloud, in which case it is like a Firefox. I can just, you know, click here. Like I don't need to go to the Firefox actually. So what happens is uh, if I click here, it will straight away open the client. In which case my client is a Firefox and this Firefox is uh, taking time. Okay, local host and the port number is 5000. A flask always, you know, this is my route. I didn't define this in application. Hi, this is the welcome page. Now my computer became a server and now my website is ready. <laughs> That's it. You know? No, I don't know. So this is how, you know, you can convert your computer. I just wanted to show you. Now what happens, one just route, you know, final route I create and then, uh, you know, should we hear it? And then how easy it is, right? Web development is very easy. So you can just, you know, now, now I create one more route and that route is going to be app. I call it as a route. I call it as login, okay? Login. So when my customers goes here and there is a kind of, uh, I, for simplicity, you know, I just, I add some logic to this route and the logic is going to be like this login. And now, kind of you know return and i just uh, copy this here only to show you that you know i got a full fledged uh, you know you can you can log in here and then i copy this log out now this is a bullshit example okay don't we, we don't uh, log in provide login and log out to our customers like this okay log out so i want to give some login and log out facilities to my customers you can log out here no it, it can be like that okay what is there to log out and what is there now close um i think python 3 main dot pi now you see here if I, I closed it i guess yes this is my home Okay, you put me in the this one day. I, I open one more uh, terminal. Yeah. Uh, Siri documents because it's not difficult to go on that matter. It's a, it's a web development class. I think. It was <laughs> so sudo get g edit main.py. Um, you can, you know, I will in just an don't care why I want to open this is I call it as home. I just want to mend it as home. Now I save here. Okay. If I use debug is equal to true, then what happens? Whenever I save, I don't need to close this now. Now here in the other browser, it just reloads. The reload of debug. Now reload is there. You see home. Ah. In the container, the closures only, and then you know, we file it open the heritage and the one of now debugger started. Now it is in debug mode. Now at this time, if I go back to you see home, now it is no longer. If it is not found earlier, it was now I need to write it as home. This is one route. So home could say don't remember if you log in. <laughs> I'll go to login, login. I got login page and then log out. I got log out page. <laughs> yeah. So I just don't want, I'm not playing with you all. So 
So please don't uh, think of me as an. So hope all of you are not there. So now this is the way I can. So any changes I know. I created a small web application and then I converted my computer into a web server. Am I right or not? Vikant, am I right or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the photo let me see. There are VN bit one. So rest of the people there. So Vikant, I think you are following me. So I converted. So if you know, our web application open chain, I can use a local host to use it. I used local. I did check. But I didn't know how to use it. That is what I said. Teaching Adobe is not. It is actually combination collection of so many technologies. It is actually easy. Guys, even if you don't know what is it, you should know what is a web server. You should know what is a client, and you should know what is. Then uh, in your computer, like I can just download this code. A website there is on the. There is a curl and into that matter. It's not there. I have to install it using curl. I can download all that website into our HTML files. I'll say so. Any good? I go from any client. I can download them. So even I fall, maybe when I need to click on it, it may not be. So now, you, if you had seen, I was using localhost. A localhost entity should do DNS, and then I can run to them. A localhost actually configure I am the host. Can you say this is what is the localhost? The name just in a name server. I use the name instead of using the address. So I can also use 127.0.0.1 colon 5000 and then 5000 port open chain on matter. So in the law, e local host, so I use local host name server. It is called I, I named this server, and in the same fashion, you have this. So this is name of this address is master. So this address is recognized as master. I could have used this address, but anyway, that's okay, fine. So local host is for the internal activity. So if, suppose if I want to write some software and test it in my computer, then I can make use of local host. So once I am thorough. I, I think you know. Yes, I'm done with my application. Now it is time for deployment. Then what I need to do? I should use this number for public. Now I need to configure. I have to go to some kind of internet registrar, just like GoDaddy and all. I need to buy a name. I don't need actually. I can just you know use uh, uh, the same address. But the problem for public is they don't you know remember this uh, number. That's why we use master. For internal, it is master. In my network, LAN, this computer is recognized as master. But for public, I need to tunnel it, right? And we have to provide a host, a pipe. So all the requests which are coming to pass through the pipe, and uh, we need to have a name. Iv even in matter Google dot com is actually a DNS. It's a domain name server. They bought that address from somebody. I don't know who it is. Like you know. And now instead of uh, that is what we. If I'm going to go to dig and go to dig Google dot com internal and go to kind of this is actually yeah this is the server address answer is coming from here one forty two one twenty one twenty let's see if I, I I don't know the port name if I know the port name I can we can just you know enter by using This one, I think the twenty-two is always open, right? <laughs> This address is restricted. It it was it is working. So if you if your address is not uh, <laughs> so this address use a network port uh, which is normally used for purpose other than web browsing and because they have deployed all their organization here. I think there is another thing called four three zero or something. Eighty good punches. Any open for you? Any twenty-two eighty Google operation. So eighty is going to Google uh, redirection. <coughs> so Google dot com is working with this address. So now I open a use. I open this. This is working. This is a public uh, IP address, right? Google login link. Eighty port number eighty is working. It's a public uh, traffic. Port number eighty is uh, for public traffic. Traffic twenty-two key internal actually. So okay, go start your search in the okay. Uh, this is actually the Google server. We are we are into the Google server. We are inside their application, and the name of the server is that one. 
Okay, got the point or not? Now, uh, that is an IP address, and uh, we don't use IP addresses, we use name servers. Just like this. this is easy for us to remember. Google.com is easy for us to remember. We can't remember this. Maybe a couple of seconds I remember, but after. So this is actually the local host versus the main public uh, address. So if I, if config, I got two addresses, and this is for, uh, you know, network card uh, interface. Anyway, let me not talk about this. So this is actually the virtual uh, machine uh, network, VM network, and this is my address. And for uh, internal, this is called loop back. The name is loop back. It loops back, back to the computer. So this is 127 dot. This is local host. If you want to do it, first, and Hadoop install is a Mumbai, one requirement for me. All these things are required. We need to check. If I am able to convert, connect to my local host or not, I'm connecting. So, okay. Um, so, if you want to the server, I closed the application, right? Earlier, when I went to the 5000 local host, 5000 application was running. That's why my computer could recognize when I go to that. Now, 80 can say it's open, right? 80 and 22 universal. Unable to connect. Why? Because it is not configured in our computer. So this site could be temporarily unavailable. Yes, it is unavailable. It cannot be kind of uh, local host is not available right now. So to make it available, we need to have, we need to configure the system. And uh, the utility which is useful for us to configure local host available for us is like, um, and the end and day, Ipadu, nenu, ye computer local unna. Nene wana chegal. Suppose if you want to connect to my computer, you need to come through the client. Browser launch Google.com browser open this browser Google.com and server local And I suppose if you want to enter into my computer, the only way is through browser, which is called a client. Client software. So browser launch connected to me address cavali. Address cover and the local public network address cavali. You learn address of the public address. And the lower ports in type, 2280 universal open. And there are quite a few, there are thousands of ports. You put in a flask open this application of 5000 opening. It opens a port 5000. Through 5000, people can enter into my computer. So, application record on the, it is there inside my computer. Now, the people can enter into my computer and make use of it. key, a local host open share and key, there is a software a utility called SSH, then is secured shell under. Okay, I can just simply open the local host and connect it to, I can use SSH and also curl, C-U-R-L, curl, C-U-R-L, U-R-L, okay, C-U-R-L, curl. E, these are the two utilities. By, by using these uh, utilities, we can enter into any computer as long as it is in public domain from the terminal, not from the, then you know, browser launch, I can land address, port open, I can I need to use these are the tools, secure shell or CURL. You don't do this. If you secure shell, it's important. CURL. CURL, we don't we only use to browse the assets. Whether a URL is working or not, and what is the we just test the URL by using CURL. And there is another utility called uh, wget. Wget gets the assets from a particular URL. And the Indian, the very old computer law, unna assets. Suppose if I have a software package in my computer, somebody can download that uh, package to their computer by using wget from terminal. So terminal ninchi a computer ke connect avalante browser wada kunda. Manakir manakir se on ante SSH URL. And there are many. Okay, I was only one. So I don't have the time to talk. SSH level. So Adin Chapter and my computer is telling me you don't have this utility. Please install that utility. So in this class, I'll just uh, tell you how to sudo apt app install open SSH server and open SSH client. It is telling me. You burglar has you got some kind of you know size of a, a KB MB5 MB5. Yes, I'm fetching. 
so i am installing so let me do the same thing here also so in both computers i should have both of the that is be also uh, that is by definition both of the computers in your cluster need to have same resources so now i go to the other computer b and then sudo apt get or apt install whatever it is apt install open ssh this is step number 2 only open open ssh client hello the same now i got everything so step number 1 establishing communication network communication between two uh, that was done and now you know we are trying to enter into others domain first we start, have we said hello and both of them greeted each other hello hello now we are entering can i come into your home yes for that we need to search now when you press this search it is telling me that it is not the right way first what i do is that i try to enter into my own house this is search local host password hello that's it i entered now i am in my own now you know i entered into my own home exit so this is actually the usual if you get approached and anybody know the cloud computing yeah anybody studied cloud computing anybody if you have the experience in creating the cloud instance and then communicating if you had yeah. you know this is how uh, linux always greets when somebody <laughs> it's a welcome message hi guy welcome to ubuntu 20 this is my home please enter into my home linux greets like this okay now i exited and i i'm not in the local host i'm not i local host endu connect ayanu i am trying to use my own resources local host is ipudu manaki my sql meer install chesinappudu if somebody want to connect to your database from public domain or in the lan they will enter through you know the kind of uh, my sql will not allow you to touch the database uh, straight away you have to go through the local host local host lo nunchi 3606 there is a port opens postgres sql postgres sql kuda postgres sql gani my sql vanni kuda network based database management system rdms sql it ela kar it is not uh, is in memory database management system but my sql network based daniki mana configure cheskovali first idi na url this is my port and whenever we want to make use of database and so there are you know so this is like actual network based tools so whatever the if i have some resources that are available through network i need to work through these you know dns so right now my home address is local host my dns dom domain name server is local host and i have number number based name also that is ip address now here ssh and then local host now it will ask me what is your password so my home is asking me what is your password i should share now yes i am able to connect establish connection with uh, my own you know host now i am going to try the others host now you see i am in the master right host name i am in the master now i am going to enter into the slave's home ssh slave because slave is already recognized in the network i configure the network and i gave the names i should say now what is the slave's password hello that's it now you see here it is changed what was earlier it was master now i am in slave hello are you all able to follow me yes sir now if i press host name i am in slave earlier i was in master now i entered into somebody's home and the name of that home is slave if i use now whatever i do it just in the slave i can do whatever i want to do it is 102 it is not the master address it is the slave address now in the slaves now ls pwd i am in uh, hello cd documents name is sarande ls my computer is empty right if a slave lo and a slave computer lo master lo undi oka file create chestunna sudo 
to do touch and then um, slave.txt hello ls now exit i'm exiting i'm in master i came back to master you put slave logo sir cd document ls nen ekkada ekkada create chesina file where did i create that file master instance i created in master in slave's machine and now i came back to slave and that file is there who created that file that file was created by the slave now what i do is so i put a master lo chi malli nen ssh chestanu ssh uh, slave i will close my tab i know you are you are dozing i ate all your brain there is nothing in your brain now cd download last one one last step uh, cat slave dot ex play and layer kada there is nothing in this file ఇప్పుడు స్లేవ్ లో ఏం చేస్తానంటే ఇకో స్లేవ్ టూ ఐ థింక్ స్లేవ్ డాట్ ఎక్స్టి పర్మిషన్ లేదు యా చూడు నేను స్లేవ్ డాట్ ఎక్స్టి స్లేవ్ ఎక్కడ క్రియేట్ చేస్తాం స్లేవ్ లో చేస్తున్నాను ప్లీజ్ బి కాషియస్ ఐ సేవ్ దిస్ వర్డ్ సో ఇక్కడ ఇట్ వాస్ క్లియర్ దెర్ వాస్ నథింగ్ ఇన్ స్లేవ్ సో ఇప్పుడు క్యాట్ స్లేవ్ there is a word i created that word in slave itself now i am connected to slave from the master now the same command i do it this is what is called networking guys are you all awake yes not strong there are only nine students to discuss yes. okay then uh, so in this class i explain you how to convert your uh, base i mean your local computer into the server by using python environment and then i explained you how to um, establish i mean how to share the assets between two different computers within the same local area network in two, using two node clusters okay this is what is the content in this today's class